Hello, Syed Hashimi here with another Visual Studio for Mac tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to show you two tips on how to work with multiple solutions. First, I'm going to show you how you can open more than one solution in the same instance of the IDE. And then after that, I'm going to show you how you can launch multiple different instances where you can load up different solutions of Visual Studio for Mac. All right. In Visual Studio for Mac, here I have a, a particular solution loaded up. And uh, imagine that your boss comes over to you as you're kind of knee deep working in a feature and says, hey, I need you to make a bug fix in this other application that you were previously developing. So we can do that. Uh, you don't have to stop your workflow and close out of everything. What you can do is, using Visual Studio for Mac, we have a kind of a workspace concept here. And uh, the workspace represents a single instance of the IDE. So it's possible to load up more than one solution inside a single instance. I'll show you exactly how to do that now. So I'm going to go to the File Open. Uh, this is the Open Project dialog. I'm going to first select the solution that I want to open. And then I'm going to go down to Options. You can see we have a checkbox here for Close Current Workspace. I'm going to uncheck that checkbox and then click uh, Open. As I do that, keep an eye out to the solution pad. So we can see that the, the previous application that I was working on is still loaded up, uh, the .NET New Web uh, solution. And uh, now I also have the My Web App solution node that has been opened here. The way that this works is uh, whatever file you're currently editing, the solution that's associated with that will actually be the one that's going to be launched on run or debug. For example, uh, here I'm editing the template pack controller that's a part of templates API. If I was to click the run button, it will launch the, the .NET new web solution. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we can see that it has successfully started the .NET new web, web, web application. Let me go back to Visual Studio for Mac and I'm going to stop debugging that. I'll minimize the .NET new web. And then I'm going to open a file that's associated with the My Web App. And then I'll go ahead and click the Play button on that. Here we can see it has successfully loaded up the My Web App uh, project instead of the .NET New Web. So let's go back to Visual Studio for Mac. Let me stop this. Um, another, another thing to keep an eye out is uh, the toolbar that's here. That will also give you an indicator as to which solution is currently active. You can see when I'm on my web app, I get, I get debug and default as the options. But when I go into a file that's associated with the, the API or the web project, the .NET New Web, I get some different options here. That's because the .NET New Web solution contains a run configuration to launch more than one project on start. All right. After you're done making your bug fix in the My Web App, you can right-click on the solution and select Close. That will bring you back to the previous uh, solution that you were working on. And uh, let me show you another way that you can do this uh, same thing using the Recent Solution. So I'll go to File, Recent Solutions. And then here, if I were to click on Control, hold Control while you click on the, the node here, so My Web App. That would do the same thing. Instead of closing the current workspace, that'll keep the current workspace open and then open the additional solution in that workspace. Let's move on to our second tip, which is how can you open more than one instance of the Visual Studio for Mac IDE? So we don't have a built-in feature to enable you to launch more than one instance uh, today, but uh, we, can use the, we can use the terminal to do this very easily. All I have to do is uh, execute a command so it's open dash n, dash a, and then the path to the application that we want to launch. The default location for Visual Studio for Mac is, Visual, is applications Visual Studio dot app. So I'm going to go ahead and execute this. This will then open a new instance of Visual Studio for Mac. Here you can open up a separate uh, solution that you might have been working on previously. So let me go ahead and open that, and then I'll bring it side by side to my other instance. All right, so here I've got uh, my original instance of Visual Studio for Mac where I was developing my .NET new web application. And then I've opened up a second instance of Visual Studio for Mac uh, for my native iOS and Android project here. All right, to recap in this video, we showed you two tips on how to work with multiple solutions. We showed you how to open multiple solutions in the same instance or workspace of Visual Studio for Mac. And then we showed you how to launch more than one instance of Visual Studio for Mac. 
This is Syed Hashimi. Please keep an eye out for future videos in this Visual Studio for Mac tips and tricks video series.